A day after the crash, Taiwan's entire fleet of Black Hawk helicopters has been grounded. Experts say the accident could prompt a review of security protocols on travel for military officers. Following the fatal accident, Taiwan has grounded its entire fleet of Black Hawk helicopters for inspection. To keep air ambulance services going for the outlying islands, authorities called in AS-365's dolphins from Kaohsiung. In the short space of two years, there have been two accidents involving the Black Hawk helicopter. Experts say this model has the advantage of rapid takeoffs and high maneuverability, but it also comes with inherent limitations and hidden risks. Uh, Over dangerous areas, such as at sea, even the U.S. military is extremely cautious at sea because the conditions are volatile. Mountainous areas are even worse. Due to the rugged terrain and altitude variations, it's very difficult to predict the airstreams. In 1981, Egyptian Defense Minister Ahmed Badawi and 13 other generals were conducting border patrol in a helicopter. The chopper crashed after striking a bird. All those on board were killed. Since then, Egypt's military has allowed no more than four high-ranking officers to fly on the same vehicle. On Thursday, most of the 13 people on board were high-ranking officers. If memory serves, former Defense Minister Feng Shiquan had reviewed this policy during his tenure. As a result, the defense minister and the chief of the general staff are no longer to ride in the same car or air vehicle. Now there might be a review of other high-ranking officers, the joint chiefs of staff. With future inspection tours or spring festival troop visits, it could be that high-ranking officers don't all need to be present. The analysts said that even the most powerful helicopter is vulnerable to risks from the natural environment.